Hello guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. Today I am going to create a Django REST API with the help of Django REST framework package. And we will perform these three things in this uh, video. First of all, we will implement the Django REST framework. And then we will perform the CRUD operation. And then we will restrict the CRUD operation to only logged in user. Okay, so we are also implementing the authentication in this video. So I hope you will enjoy the things. So let's start to do this. So first thing I will create a new project. Django admin. Start project. And the project will be blog API. Okay. And then we will go to the blog API. Sorry. CD blog. We need to actually exit this CD blog API. Okay, and then what we will do here, we will create project, we will create app py manage.py start app posts. Okay, so this will create a post application. Okay, now what we will do. We will go to the blog API here and then we will register the post in the settings.py file. So here we will do this posts. Now we will install Django REST framework. So how can we install this? pip install Django REST framework. Okay. So I have already uh, created the video for the Django REST framework with the React.js. So you can also see that. And here it is saying that requirement already satisfied. It means I have already installed this framework. Okay. So now what we need to do, we need to just add this in, in our installed app. So this will be REST, REST framework. Okay. You can see the documentation here. Django REST framework you will see all the things okay so here it is Django REST framework dot org so so they are explaining everything each and everything uh, in a in a very good manner so you can check that okay so we have installed the Django REST framework and uh, we have added in this our project level settings so now what we need to do, we need to perform because we are not creating a front end app. We need to just create the uh, API. So what we will do first, we will do, we need to create the model. Then we will need to create the serializer. Okay. Then we will create the, then we will create the URLs. Okay. Then we will see the operations. So the first thing we need to create the models in our application. So here we, we have application. We will open that and here we will create class post models dot model. Okay. And in this I will perform title equal to models dot care field and the maximum length is like 150. And then I will add detail equal to models dot text field. And we don't need to uh, add the maximum length. And then created add equal to models dot date time field. And this will be add auto. Okay. So title, detail, and created. Okay, one thing more, we need to add the author also. Okay, so here, who is created this post? So, Django default comes with the authentication. So, we will use that contrib dot auth dot models dot models import user. And here we will add author equal to models dot foreign key user 
and on delete equal to models dot models dot cascade so what this will do when we will delete the user then it will delete all related data okay so we have created the model now what we will do here we will run the migration file so py manage dot py make migrations and py manage dot py migrate okay so it also comes with the lots of default migration like user groups and all the things so it has migrated the thing now now we will create the super user we will create the admin so manage dot py create super user and here it will ask us username i will not fill the email and password is very weak i will say okay okay and cli manage dot py run server currently we have settled the just a simple django app because django rest framework not do anything independently it will it will work along with the django okay so here we have added this we have we have created the model settings and created the admin now we will add the models to the admin so open the admin and here we will register the admin dot site dot register and here we will first of all we will uh, we need to import the models from dot models import post and here we will add the post and let's see the things working so it is reloading okay reloaded now we will go to 127.0.1 admin and then it will ask admin admin okay and here it have we have post and we will add some data like uh, admin and this is post one post one detail and save and we will add post two post two detail and save and here you get you can see that it is returning the object because we are not returning anything else so what we will do here default we will return the title of the post so here we will return self dot title okay so we have created our model and uh, we have created our we have added the model into the admin now we will uh, go to the api so here i have explained that i have created this step now we need to create the serializer and here we, we will add also view okay so let's go to the serializer so i will create new file and this will be serializer.py okay and here we will from rest framework import serializers okay so if you go to this uh, documentation here here you can see the example and here you can see this is the serial life from rest framework routes it is loading all the things but i'm in i'm uh, working on the just the basic steps so i will import the serializer here you can see the serializer okay and now what we will do here we will create class post serializer serializer and we will this serializer dot model serializer here you can see that we will use model serializer okay and in this model serializer what we will do we will create class meta and the model will be here we will import the model from dot models import post okay and the model is post and the fields are 
title detail and created ad okay now we will import the serializer in our view file okay so let's go to the view files so here are the view files and we will create the view so we will create class class uh, first of all we need to create the from rest framework rest framework import genetics okay and then we will create class post list and genetics dot genetics dot list create api view okay and after that what we will do here we will and we need to also the import serializer class so dot serializer import post serializer okay and in this class we need to define query set equal to what we need to query set and we will import from dot models import post okay so query set is post dot objects dot all okay and in the serializer class serializer class equal to post serializer okay now we will uh, now the next thing is we will create the urls dot py file and here we will import from django dot urls import path and the next thing is url url patterns equal to path and then here we will define the first of all we need to from dot from dot import let's say that from dot views import post list okay so this will be post list dot as view okay so this will be path and we also need to add this urls.py file in our project level url file so here we will add include this will be comma and here we will add what we will add api okay so this will be api include so this will be post dot urls okay so we have created all these things models serializer view and urls so let's go to the server is running let's go to the home page it is showing nothing because we didn't have created any thing for the home page so we will go to the api so field name created is not exist because we need to add created add okay so we will refresh this page so here you can see that django provides us the ui for this thing if you run this ui it will return the json but if you run this in the browser then it will show the form and all the things okay so you here you can see that we have a username and uh, we you you can uh, uh, you can list the post here we have a list of the post you can add new post okay and uh, if you go to the here you can see that if you want to see the list then what we will do we will go to the project level thing here uh, in the urls.py file not in the urls here we will go and after that we will create here int int id okay and what we will do here let's say int pk primary key and this will be post detail and we will go to the views.py file and here we will create the class and this will be retrieve update delete api view okay so maybe retrieve uh, spelling for me is retrieve so this will be retrieve 
retrieve update delete api view okay so this will be post serializer class so it will automatically so post detail okay and here is the here is the view so we will go to the class here okay so it is saying that restaurant there is no attribute retrieve update delete okay so this will be destroy this should be destroy actually this is destroy okay fine so now it is loaded successfully post detail is not defined because we have not imported the post detail okay now server is restarted okay now it is running fine refresh this page and when we will go to the id here you can see one so it will show the post detail and the data will be filled automatically in the form so we have created these two things crud operation and rest framework you can try the crud operation add edit delete the data here you can see the buttons and all the things uh, okay so now what we will do here we will restrict this api to the only logged in user so how we can do that so django provides us the settings for this so where we put this settings so we will go to the views.py file and here we will import the permissions okay and in the permissions we have here before the query set this will be permission classes equal to permission and here we will add is authenticated okay and here we will add this also here is authenticated now we will refresh this page okay it is saying that is authenticated is not defined uh, is authenticated is authenticated okay so what we need to do here okay so it was uh, it was showing this error because we need to add this permissions dot is authenticated here and we this is because this is tuple so we have added this and this will be like this code okay so when we have when we have appended this then when we when you will refresh the page you can see the result but because you are because you are the, uh, seeing this result because we have logged in as an admin so now we will log out and let's see this so it will saying that authentication credentials were not provided okay so this is the view level permissions this is the basic permissions view level permission you can implement in the uh, according to the view okay so what we need to do next we will provide the login system in this rest framework we don't need to go to the uh, admin and log out the things we can also provide the login system so first of all we will log in into the admin and then if we refresh the page it is showing the data so i will go to the uh, main.urls.py file i mean project level url file then we will go to the here and we will add auth api and then we will provide rest framework dot urls okay so if we refresh the page here you can see that we have a drop down and here you can implement the logout so when we log out this it will showing the authentication whatever the it is saying the error when we you will log in so django provide django rest framework package provides us the login so i will go to login and this will show the results okay so i have applied all these things i have created the rest framework we have uh, performed the crud operation you can test this crud operation with adding updating and deleting creating the data and uh, we have added uh, in this api we have added the uh, restriction for the user 
okay and i have also sh i have also show you that how we can do this via code okay so maybe in the next video we will implement this uh, in the uh, not in the next video but we will implement this uh, rest framework with the view js or react js please add your thoughts that uh, i should use this uh, rest framework with the view js or react js okay please add your thoughts in this uh, in the comment section okay so thanks for watching this video thank you so much and please like and share subscribe this channel okay so thanks for your support thank you so much